here's what you need to do in order to improve the battery life and fix the battery drain issue on Poco X7 Pro. One of the easiest ways to do so is by going to the security app as it provides some of the tools that allow you to optimize the battery usage. Over here we can go to the battery immediately in order to jump to the battery settings. And first of all, of course, remember that you can use battery saver in order to get more out of your battery. Uh, so try to use the battery saver from time to time, especially when you have not much battery left in order to save the battery and have it for a little bit longer. And of course, remember to also go back to the balanced mode to, um, to not always be in the battery saver though. Now over here we can go to battery checkup and here we have the suggestions, what we can use in order to, um, to get rid of the drain issue. So first of all, we have some apps that can be closed and that drain the battery. So of course we can choose what we agree to. So I'm gonna definitely agree to that. Then we can also disable the, um, the brightness that is now uh, not automatic. So if it's automatic, then it helps with the battery. So we can decide if we want to or not. I'm gonna actually skip this uh, step. We can also, for instance, disable turn, um, the always on display option. So here now we have just the suggestions, but they are still good to use. Of course, we can lower the screen refresh rate to 60 Hertz. However, of course, I'm not gonna do that because I want to enjoy the smooth uh, screen um, transitions and scrolling and so on and so forth. So I prefer 120, even if it drains my battery a little bit faster. Then we can also clear memory 10 minutes after locking device. So I can enable this option as well. Turn off haptic feedback, don't wake screen. Yeah, sure. Lock device after 15 seconds of inactivity. That's, that's also helpful. And we can also restrict 5G connectivity. And that's pretty much it. Here we also have some additional optimized options that we can use, like we can use the dark mode, we can disable the portable hotspot, and so on and so forth. And once you are done, you can press add a certain amount of minutes over here in order to start using those improvements. So instead of going from settings to settings and jumping here and there to disable stuff, we can just simply use this battery checkup option, which is really convenient. But we also have the, maybe the charging options, but battery protection. So I can recommend you enabling the battery protection or smart charging at least that allow you to extend the battery life. The battery protection prevents charging over 80% of the battery. So if you reach 80% while charging the device, it will stop charging. And the reason why um, this is the case, it is because the optimal battery percentage uh, is between 20 and 80%. Of course, you can drop it to like 10 before you start charging, but ideally you want to start charging your device when you reach 20% of the battery and you want to stop when it reaches 80%. We also have smart charging, which is pretty similar. However, this one uh, learns the usage pattern. It creates a usage pattern based on how we use our device, how often we charge and when we charge, so that when we, for instance, charge our device at night, it theoretically should uh, limit the uh, charging as well to 80%, but, but um, at day, during the day, um, when we charge our device, it should just um, charge it normally to 100%. So this is also a pretty cool tool. So instead of limiting yourself to 80% all the time, you can try the smart charging option instead. And we also have additional features like the 5G battery saver, which can also be enabled. If you live in an area where it is cold, then you can also enable the cold endurance mode. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.